Also this evening, Oklahoma City's newest superintendent is laying out her vision for the future. And at the same time, the district is now responding to State Superintendent Ryan Walter's controversial Bible mandate. News Force Hunter Elise has the details for us. Hunter. Heather and Kevin, Superintendent Dr. Jamie Polk laid out her plans to monitor academic progress within schools. That big decision on the Bible mandate wasn't talked about, but rather sent to parents in an email. Superintendent Dr. Jamie Polk has only been in her new role for 38 days, using Wednesday's State of the Schools to highlight ways to advance education in the district, using a plan to monitor the classroom. These six key progress indicators are how we're measured in the state and across the nation. That's academic growth, academic achievement, English language learners, chronic absenteeism, the graduation rate, and post-secondary. Teacher shortages have had a big impact this year, but Dr. Polk confirms the district is 95% staffed ahead of the school year with several open positions. Enrollment is up compared to this time last year, and we're excited to welcome back students on August 13th. Among those students and staff, Dr. Polk highlights there are 71 spoken languages, more than 16,000 bilingual students, and 87 Native American tribes represented in the classroom. We are committed to fostering an environment where each and every student will feel included. What Dr. Polk didn't mention Wednesday, the State Department of Education's Bible mandate, but a letter sent to parents Wednesday morning says teachers will use current plans for teaching. Any reference to the Bible will focus on its historical and literary aspects, and the Bible will not be used for preaching or indoctrination. And I reached out to the State Department of Education for a response on how Oklahoma City Public Schools say they will follow the mandate, but did not hear back.